Ready. Good, Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place for you. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, a lot of people felt like this fight had bonus money written all over it, and they are going after it all. X circle square ah. triangle. That is what you are doing with that controller right now. Nice counter left there. Oh, beautiful level change. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. It's it's tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, to get back to position. Oh, he's setting up an arm bar now. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working towards the finish. Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these new obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure. Ooh, he's setting up another submission now. Ooh, that looks tight. Might be the beginning of the end. This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get sub. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Another good play, though. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guards. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pump. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Well, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward, and he his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Great submission defense by this man. It looked like he was done. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Round two is next. Okay, there's no way you got that one. You lost that one. Okay, you're going to take this next one back. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, a few things more exciting. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. Real quick leg kick. Oh, big elbow. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. He's got the single collar tie. Nice shot. Lands downstairs. Oh, he cut a nasty cut on his lip. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Now he's going full mount. Watch the arm bar, but watch the arm bar here. Oh, man, he's getting deep. Oh, this is tight. Oh, Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. We set it inside the octagon for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, Burrell!
Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here we are back at the O2 Arena, London, England. We were not here when Leon Edwards confronted Jorge Masvidal backstage, the whole three-piece and a soda bit, but we're happy to be here tonight. Leon Edwards approached him, and he got a meal that he was not expecting. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. When you're, in the arena, when you're in the O2 Arena, you better be ready to fight backstage or inside the octagon. Lance, a good jab. another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stricken four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Nice job blocking that punch. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is so be on his feet right now. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. And with the right hook. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. And follows up with another one. Another big one. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Good fight here, under two to go. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Working on Ezekiel Choke, and he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Nice job paying attention on the defensive side. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's going the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. He's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done to that half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Nice kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Bleeding from his cheek now. He got that leg a quick, beautiful head kick lands. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on this play. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, beautiful work with the knee. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. I mean, the hand speed just absurd. Oh, he might be a one-eyed fighter before too long. That right eye starting to shut. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are tucked. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage. Of yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done it. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Oh my goodness, these boys are going at us. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. to his feet. Oh! Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to get wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus. Oh, big, big shots here. He's brutalizing. 
surprising him with the carnival ball. This fight is close to being done. Stop, stop. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges scored the contest 29-28, 30-27, 29-28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Burrell! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the... You ready to fight? You ready? Good. What a night we are expecting here at Scotiabank Arena. You got the We the North t-shirt on underneath your suit. You do. You know, I'm the guy that loves any team that's winning, so yes. We are the North, or we the North. They don't use proper grammar up there in Canada, but we the North. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a brawl on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seat. These guys are getting after them. Oh. oh. up the arm bar. Oh, yeah, he's got him. He's tight. Oh, that is going to do it. That's got to be it. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, i got to stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Beautiful transition. Oh, right into Mount. Big ground and pound. Transition there, you call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. He takes his back now. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, he landed the elbow. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, in the mouth. Under 20 seconds now to go. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Round two is next. Stop. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? All right, let's check out some of the action. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Big land there. Nice punch to the head. Oh, and he lands again. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. 
He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel forming it. well-rounded athletes here to be sure we sat down with both of them in the fighter meeting and they said they're kind of going to see what the other gives them before going too heavy on the strike you absolutely have to take your time you're fighting a guy that feels like you're looking in the mirror you cannot make mistakes you got to think about how you would fight yourself whenever you're fighting someone as well rounded as you are so when you get in there you take your time you feel it out and then you formulate a plan that will allow for you to win the fight. There it is. Now he's going to mount. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nice positional control here. Postures up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Right down. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Nice transition. Now it's his mouth. Under three minutes to go in round one. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Oh, there's another ground strike for good measure. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, wow. Oh! Yeah, Paige and Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Oh, that's very deep now. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping forward. They're excited. 45 seconds remain in the round. Ooh, big shot, man. Gotta love how it's playing out between these two offensively-minded fighters early. Oh, left hook. 20 seconds left. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Ooh. Oh. Archer, there's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down just before the horn, so he'll walk back to his corner here. All right, so there's the end of the round. And... You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Oh, he blocks the strike. Oh, and counters with a jab. So a nice sequence for him there. He's got the reach advantage. And at least in that exchange, size certainly appeared to matter. Oh, big left hand there. Oh! Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He can't do that's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Huge shot here landed on both sides. We might get a stoppage here soon. Oh, big shots raining down. Oh, he's on his back, but he's keeping his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Going for the arm here. Oh, arms in tight. There's the tie! Absolutely. 
absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. And you can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Burrell! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by...